today's video is inspired by Irene Ratnik where she challenged two other photographers to come up with a photo with the same concept. For this video, I've put up a challenge to two of my fellow photographers, Daniel and Rafi. They are both very talented photographers, so do check them out on their Instagram and YouTube after you're done with this video. So, the concept for this video is light and shadows. The three of us, me, Daniel and Rafi, will have to take a self-portrait with the overarching theme of light and shadows. Without wasting any more time, let's get into the video. Hi guys, it's Rafi here. So today, Azmin challenged me to do a uh, light and shadow photography. So I was walking around my house and looking for a shadow. Um, light source that coming through the window. But all I have is uh, very little shadows. And I tried to use props to create the, the, the shadow effect on the face. But it don't seem to work because the light is not strong enough. So I walk around and I saw this uh, very high contrast where where the curtains uh, make the room dark but there was a, a strong light source coming from the side of it. So I take advantage of that and uh, I try to do some portraits using that, that spot. So I try to control the light source coming from the window by using the curtains to block out the amount of light that comes through so the more the more I close the, the lesser light it goes uh, through the window so the key of this is to, to have a side lighting uh, so which means that it will light only the side of your face leaving the other side uh, darker so that is the, the aim and look which I go for So after the shoot, I, I took my, my phone and I uh, edit using uh, Lightroom Mobile. I used the preset that I have and uh, made a small adjustment. Then I just apply to the rest of the photos. Hey guys, my name is Daniel and in today's self-portrait at home with the theme of light and shadows I'll be doing a close-up portrait of probably just this my face and let's go So firstly, equipment talk, I'll be using my Sony A7 Mark III with 85mm f1.8 and since it's at night time, um, it's easier to create shadows and I'll be using some of my flashes um, to cast some light okay so what i got over here is a godox 8200 stroke flash and these two are equipped with two color gels so one is blue one is orange to give um, that kind of uh, different mood to your photo so it's also to give you the um, typical orange and teal kind of look so i will probably change color or do some different shapes and stuff and what i'm going to use to trigger off these flashes will be this um, wireless controller okay so now i've positioned my flash one is on the table and one is on top of the cardboard and my camera is currently on the tripod so i'll be standing over here so basically this light over here serves no purposes just to light up um, myself so you all can see me so next is going to be my favorite kind of mysterious look where it's kind of silhouette you can't really see the face but there's two lights um, slightly behind on the left and right where it's kind of uh, outlining the subject so let's try this yeah. okay sign of work let's try a few more Wait, there's one more thing that I really love to show y'all. This is um, something interesting, it's something cool. Basically, I'm gonna take off this flash and manually um, trigger. And what I did to the camera setting is actually change it to long exposure. So it will be a multiple exposure kind of photo. So let's do it. 
So I set the exposure to 4 seconds and I can trigger this like 3 times maybe. Let's try it. Yeah, it kind of works. It looks good to me but uh, it can be better. So this is uh, something different if you wanna step up your uh, portrait game, studio shoots and stuff. So yeah. Okay guys, so that's all for myself portrait at home. Um, I hope you all can learn something and I hope you all enjoy this video too. So for my photo for the concept of light and shadows, I will use I will do something that I saw from TikTok where they will have something of like a spotlight on their face. So how we do that is by using a light from your phone or a flashlight and then we just put either a kitchen kitchen roll or toilet paper right in front of light so it will come out with a light that looks something like this a very circular and very harsh light now I have a bit of uh, ambient light on the side so when I take the photo I will turn off all the lights and just have one light coming from my phone so in the photo it will be totally dark with just the spotlight spotlight lighting up the subject which is me I will be using my a7 Mark II camera with my 35mm lens um, I'll be controlling my camera using my phone using the wireless app since I will be using my phone to control my camera I will need to use um, a different source of light so for this shoot I'm using a running headlight it does not work as well as the light from your phone but for this shoot this light will do I am using the Imaging H app for Sony to remotely control my camera. I'm shooting at f2.8 and at shutter speed of 1 over 80th of a second. I'm able to use a slow shutter speed because the camera is mounted onto my tripod, so I won't have to worry about camera shakes. It also helps that I'm controlling the camera using a remote app. I have the camera about 1.5 meter away from me here. The closer the light is to me and the wall, the smaller it will be, but it will be harsher and more intense. So do adjust the distance of the light accordingly to your preference. Here I'm trying out a pose where I put my hand out in front of my face as if I'm trying to block the light. But in actual fact, the light was so bright, I was really, I was really actually trying to block the light from blinding my eyes. I thought of mixing things up so I added a side light. I used my aperture light with green cellophane paper acting as a gel. I quite like the effect with the subtle green shadows that the makeshift gel gave off. So this is it, I hope you all enjoyed the video and you guys managed to take a few tips from me and my guests today. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you feel that you have any photographer friends who might be interested in the video, just share this with them. Also, be sure to check out Daniel and Rafi's pages, I will link them in the description below. If you have any idea for the next concept challenge, leave them in the comments. I would really love to see what you guys have in mind. Bye and see you in the next video.